Welcome back to What's New. For those of you that have followed the career of our very own and very talented Mike Polk, you know that he can do it all. Of course, he's a terrific feature reporter for us here at 3 News. He's also a stand-up comic, very funny, and a talented songwriter. Well, he recently made an offer to write and record an original song for one lucky viewer. That lucky viewer's name is Donna. And now, without further ado, the world premiere of the Mike Polk original. Thank you, Donna. A few weeks ago, I was feeling pretty blah about the state of the world, as many people seem to be. That's why I decided to offer this service. I'm here by calling for submissions for people who might need cheered up. It turned out a lot of people wanted me to make a bad song to cheer somebody up. But in the end, the choice was clear. Matt and his fiance Pam had nominated Matt's fabulous mom, Donna, whom they thought might benefit from a little musical tomfoolery. Just was diagnosed with early time dementia. Literally just had to move her out of her house and put her into a nursing home. Sorry, you guys are going through it. You really think that this might cheer your mother up? I mean, I'm not a very good musician. I, I really believe that she's gonna enjoy it, absolutely. Donna was clearly the correct choice. Now I just needed to learn a little bit more about her so I could personalize her song. What kind of style of music does your mother like? She loves uh, like a Barbra Streisand. I could stretch my range a little bit, I guess. What else is she into? What does she enjoy doing? Reading, walking. She uh, used to enjoy literally cleaning the house. Movies, is there anything that she dug? Lifetime. <laughs> Back off. Back off. You haven't got any friends here. All right, man, well, I appreciate it. We're gonna try and do her justice. Awesome, man, I appreciate it. It was now time to compose the song, which proved to be a grueling 20-minute process. See, luckily, Matt said that she prefers 50s style music, which is good for someone who knows four chords because there were really only four chords used in the 50s. It was now time to head to my state-of-the-art in-home recording studio at Chateau Polk so I could lay down the heat. Yeah. I think we nailed it. So, Donna, here it is, the big reveal. Your own song that I hope will make you smile. I did what I could. Oh, Donna. Donna, oh Donna, in these times so uncertain and strange, there's always one person that we can rely on, and Donna is her name. You like watching movies on Lifetime and music by Barbara Streisand. You like talking and reading and laughing and cleaning and going on walks with your friends oh donna you're loved by so many you're wise and you're kind and you're true you're a mother a teacher a mentor a friend and donna we're thankful for you yes donna we're thankful for you. This is Grammy eligible artist Mike Polk for 3 News. Oh my goodness, Mike, you I, nailed it. I think you did. I don't think you oh. left anything out. Very no. straight to the point, pure. Yes. Very from the heart. Very. Uh, what I love about that was it's comedy gold. It's right. very funny. And it is so sweet, too. I, I can only imagine right now that Donna and her family are watching that with a smile ear to ear. Yeah, that's what it's all about, right? That's fantastic. Is he doing any more of these? Yeah, so I think it's going to be a thing. It's a viewer appreciation song. And here's the deal. Tell us why Mike should write his next song about someone that you know. And here's how you do it. Or yourself. 216-344-3300. That's a text. 216-344-3300. You can also tweet us. Use the hashtag beyond three. Beyond three. And, you know, sort of state your case. Why this would be a good idea to write right. a song about a loved one in your life or, as you said, yourself. And, and four chords can go a long way. You can mix them up so it won't sound the same. It's beautiful. It was a good thing. It certainly. really was.